Hi, I'm Brian. I uh, am Ludifex also on our show, Let's Adventure. And I'm... Do, do, do I have the blurb over my face? It, it doesn't look like I've got the blurb on, over my face. No, I don't, I don't think we have the tech for that. Oh. I'm, I'm Jason. Uh, I have absolutely nothing to do with this crazy character Bob that you've been hearing about. Uh, he, he doesn't share my fingerprints or anything. They, yeah, it can, nothing can be proved against him. Okay. I hear. So, we're here to talk about Bad Mojo. Now, you've seen our show, at least hopefully you haven't. If you haven't, what the hell are you doing right now? Go see it, now. We'll wait. Or, will we? All right, anyway. Uh, but if, you ha uh, if you've seen it, then, you know, we're kind of playing characters, in some cases. Uh, and we just wanted to sort of talk about what we actually thought about the game. Because, you know, we, we like making fun of things, but at the same time, we have our own opinions about these, right? Yes. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> anyway, so when I started uh, the Let's Adventure stuff uh, for Bad Mojo, I said that this was a game when I played when I was a kid, and I was being completely honest. Um, it was uh, a game that I think I played, it was 95, it's got to be like when I was in, you know, like early high school or something like that. You're dating us! <sighs> I, I, I so be able to figure out how old we are! I don't really care that much, I'm sorry. It'll make it harder to pick up high school girls. What? Proceeding. <laughs> So as you can tell, we're completely playing characters at every moment of the day, right? Yes. Okay. Totally. Anyway, uh, but the whole point was that I actually really liked the game. It was really kind of vivid, and even now, despite the crazy crap, the crazy camp value for the entire game, I actually really kind of liked it. Uh, I think that it actually does a great job at you know, what it's trying to do, which is like disgust people. And that's actually not easy to do, especially in an era when, you know, the best graphics we had were, like, dancing babies, roughly. Uh, what did you think? Um, I thought it did fairly well at uh, capturing disgusting, crawling through filth. Yep. I was not a big fan of the controls. The controls were kind of awful. That is entirely possible. Um... Uh, and everything was overacted, but yeah. that made it fun. Yeah. Because that, that makes it campy, kind of like a bad horror movie. Which... Don't push me, old man! You'll get your rent in the morning. <sighs> exactly. Yes. Uh, the... I, I'm... So, actually, interesting point about, like, the controls and stuff. You know, back in the day, those were... Well, maybe not the best controls in the world, but there was a lot more acceptance of that kind of, like tank control thing. I mean, think of, yeah. like, Resident Evil, think of, um, uh, Grim Fandango, which is a little bit later, but still same rough generation, plus or minus. Uh, not saying it's good, but, you know. But thank God we got past that phase. That is true. <laughs> hey, when Grim Fandango recently released, they had, like, I think with, to the chagrin of, God, what's his name? Um... Funny guy, Tim Schafer, thank you. To the chagrin of Tim Schafer, they took out the tank controls. And many tears were spilt, mainly from him and no one else. Um, the, uh, so the, the controls were not perfect, and some of the puzzles were kind of annoying in the sense of like having to push things around. It took you how long to push a pill off of a radio? I don't remember that happening. Be is this because you're Jason? Yes. You see what I have to put up with here. Um, anyway, uh, but yeah, I, uh, is there, so what is your general thing? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you, somewhere in between? Somewhere in between. It was okay. That is a non-committal answer, sir, and I shall not have it. Or maybe I will, but under not under duress, uh, that, under protest. That's the word I'm looking for. It was okay. It was okay. I have no idea what to make of this. 
Anyway, so the thing is, is that I do have still a problem with like the underlying plot of the whole thing because, as I was saying with the ending, there are no really likable characters in the entire thing. The cat. Except the cat. Thank you. Bogart. Bogart. Or is that Franz the cat? Depends on which version you're taking. It was Bogart as Franz the cat. Yes. He was likable. He was awesome. Okay. But, I wanted to pet him. I mean, Bob wanted to pet him. But at the same time, I do have to say that, you know, I enjoyed how, uh, how campy it was. And actually, something you may not know, uh, the whole point of that era of full motion video type of games was the fact they didn't really know the medium very well yet. So they were actually telling them to overact as much as possible because... If you think about it, you know, you have this, like, tiny little screen there, which you have to make seem big and, you know, act well and stuff like that. And they certainly got that performance out of them. They did. The, um... But, um, I, I kind of... I, I even... It uh, turns out that the guy who played, um... Uh, who played Roger in this actually went on to be reasonably successful... Uh, as you know, the voice actor. In fact, um, in the recent game, um, the Back to the Future game by Telltale, he was actually, I believe, George McFly. That sounds right. Uh, and you can tell, like, even the first the first thing, if you go and watch that, or I put a clip here or something like that, uh, that he actually kind of sounds like George McFly when he, or, uh, when he just is using his normal voice, and that's kind of awesome. So as much grief as we give him, I have to say that, you know, he is probably a pretty cool guy, and we don't hate him. Correct. <laughs> you can add more here, too. It's not like it's just me ranting about this. Um, yeah, no, I uh, agree. Uh, they, uh, in, in a uh, additional video included with the game, uh, they discuss that they intentionally asked them to overact, and they definitely did that well. Uh, that was what they were supposed to do, and, um, yeah, it, it made for a campy good time. Um, I, I would love to be able to be in campy horror movies and stuff. That would be awesome. Uh, call me! Um... <laughs> Because I'll, I'll scream like a little girl and run away, uh, if, if that's what it takes. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. You, I, do that, you do that like running away. I think I've the, got this down. And, and, and then we the, need the like the, the, the double speed kind of thing. You're running away like twice as fast as you possibly could. Yep. You know, that kind yep. of thing. So, uh, you know, we, we might be... Do we have a clip? We do not have a clip. Okay. Um, I, I also uh, wouldn't mind, you know, like... Shotgunning zombies. Or, you know, almost zombies. <laughs> How do you know they're almost zombies? This is a zombie apocalypse. They're probably going to be zombies soon. So you take sort of the, um, uh, the slash and burn type approach to zombie killing? Yes. Okay. Well, it's the only way to be sure. I think that's aliens. Nuke it from orbit! <laughs> Then two. So if you ever imagine an alien zombie? I'll bet you it's been done before somewhere at this point. Maybe. Anyway. Uh, Could I, be awesome, though. As you might know, you might now know whether or not you want to add uh, Jason to your uh, particular survivor party in any zombie situation you may come across. So, um... Now let's play a really quick entertaining game of favorite, least favorite part of the game, okay? Now we're not talking the controls, not a good answer, but what was your favorite, what was your least favorite part of the game? Um, uh, I've got three possibilities for favorite part of the game. Okay. Uh, the first is getting eaten by the rat at the very beginning. That was kind of amazing. Yeah. <laughs> um, the second was dropping all of the razor blades down on the other rat. That was... That was also kind of amazing. And the third was the ending where everybody died, and we actually finally got a happy ending. 
okay? That the, the everyone died ending just was kind of short for me, and, but it does seem like the most likely outcome of this whole thing. <laughs> this is true. Uh, anyway, uh, the least favorite part. Controls. I said that wasn't an option. Oh, right. You did. Um... So, my least favorite part, other than the controls, was the pipe nexus, where there's like eight different ways <laughs> out and no easy way to tell which pipe is the one you're trying to go to. So you're like, okay, let's go in, and let's try turning one, and no, that didn't work. And every time you enter the nexus, you're facing the opposite, like you come in and you're facing that way, which... Uh, Makes sense when you realize that's happening, but when you don't realize that that's what's happening, and so you're then, oh, let me try going one to the right, oh, let me try going two to the right, and where the hell is this? Um, we may have cut out some of that footage. There, there um, was that wheel that was supposed to be, like, the thing that you should notice to know which way to go. Yeah, I don't remember that. Okay, fine. We did I think you're making up the wheel. We did cut out a lot of footage when it came to that part, because... As tense as it happened to be, it wasn't really that fun -y. So, yes, uh, I can concur with that part, although I have slightly different answers for you. Yes. Uh, so first off, my favorite part of the game probably has to be the bar overall, uh, because so many of those videos were amazing. Uh, they had the... Uh, uh, just any time that uh, uh, Roger's actor had to act like young Eddie, he was just hilarious. You know, the boxing thing, uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, photo booth pictures, that whole kind of thing. I just thought the whole thing was just hilarious about it. It's like, this is so sappy, and we know where this is going, but it's also hilarious. That's fair. Um, least favorite part is most definitely the freaking fuse puzzle. Even though we wasted possibly more time with going on those gears, it's like they put this puzzle in front of you, and the only, and okay, first of all, you can't solve it there because you don't have enough information, right? And then only later, with a slight, not even a hint, they don't, I mean, yes, they have tons of hints in the game, but they don't really like indicate where you need to find the four numbers that you need to set the thing to, you end up having to like take the four random numbers you saw in this alcohol recipe that was already used in a different puzzle, so it almost seems already like uh, you've already used up the information for it to use on the fuse thing. Yes, we helped you because we didn't go through the entire process of figuring that out. And ironically, after that puzzle, we needed some alcohol. Yeah, yeah, that would have helped. I, do you think that the, uh, the, uh, the Roach was actually drinking alcohol at that point, or do you think it was just kind of like wandering around the neck of the bottle? It's a good question. And probably drinking it. The question for the ages is, can roaches get drunk? Anyone know? Write us. Okay, Let us yes. know. Feel free. Maybe we can do an experiment with some roaches <laughs> and see if we can get them drunk and if they, like, walk funny and stuff. I don't know if we could really tell if a roach walks funny. I mean, would it, like, stumble over its own feet because it has, like, six of them? I would probably just have troubles going straight, and, you know, be all uh, trying to curve. Part of our difficulty is that we're bipedal creatures, and so we have our, you know, we're inherently unbalanced in some way. We could remove some of their legs. <laughs> <laughs> Always an answer to every question. Huh? <laughs> I try my best. I'm a problem solver. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, so... That's roughly what we thought of the game. I just, we wanted to make this video partially because uh, yeah, I don't know if the developers ever will see this or ever want to see this or are currently cursing our name and deciding to, you know, throw all kinds of general sharp objects our direction. Probably uh, that. Oh yeah, well, okay, if you were in charge of it, maybe. But uh, we wanted to sort of say, you know, we actually like it. We think that you should actually probably try to, try to play it if you can. We've given the link on the video. It's from goodoldgames.com, uh, or GOG.com, as the case may happen to be. 
And, uh, you know, it's like six bucks, so it's probably worth, like, I mean, if you spend that much on, like, an infinite runner on your phone, it's probably worth that, at least. So, I think it's cool. Any recommendations offhand? I, I did get a call the other day from uh, someone looking to hire a hitman to take out these two guys who'd uh, done... Uh, some sort of a let's play, but it, it didn't really sound like my thing because I wouldn't want to take out video game players. Fair enough. I appreciate your candor. Anyway, I mean, I heard that Bob got a call like that. <sighs> anyway, so that is uh, what we really thought of Bad Mojo. Uh, hopefully you found this interesting, and hopefully you'll watch more Let's Adventure in the future. We will shortly, not sure exactly when, but we will shortly be uh, releasing our next one, which is going to be Darkseed. Now, if you haven't heard about that, you should either look it up or wait for us to do it for you. And in that case, here's a quick clip of some of the stuff that we may have for you. No guarantees. Oh God, it's a baby! It wants our love and support! Kill it with fire! Study, entry, living room, kitchen, secret passage, garage... Secret, secret passage? passage? Yeah, you, you should stay away from the police station. Uh, we, we have a lack of understanding. Uh, you heard that too, right? You heard what? Nothing. Do you like forehead vaginas? I don't know if you need to know anything else. <laughs> um, that is, you don't want to scare them off before they see the video. We want to scare them off after they've seen the video, because then we at least get the, the view. That's true. But maybe they'll be so intrigued at the idea of a forehead vagina that they'll just have to tune in. In short, H.R. Geiger, things get weird. So, go for that. And awesome. They, and awesome. Fine, fine. They, the, um, yeah, you'll see what happens then. Anyway, until next time, have fun, and uh, we will see you around. We can stop doing this now.